All right. Um, so what have we showed so far in our matching model? Um, so first of all, um, we um, we've showed that when uh, firms uh, maximize profits at any point in time, uh, given a certain tightness, they are going to want to have a size uh, that's given by the labor demand. So. So firms maximize profits given theta. Um, the number of workers that they want to employ is L D of theta, the labor demand. Okay, and um, just in case that's useful, we use some references. We showed that L D of theta was given by A productivity alpha, the shape of the labor function, W, a wage that's um, taken as given and later in the semester we'll talk more about where wages come from. 1 plus tau of theta, where tau of theta is a recruiter producer ratio that depends on the tightness. Alpha here, then 1 over 1 minus alpha. Okay, um, so we said that firms maximize profit, and um, so the employment that they want to sustain is uh, given by the labor demand LD of theta. Okay, um, so that's uh, a first element of the model. On the worker side, um, what we um, what we said is that well. Um, here, you know, workers don't make really any decision because we assume that um, the size of the labor force is fixed. So we've just fixed the number of workers who participate in um, the labor market. But nevertheless, um, what we've said is that given the uh, matching structure of the labor market and uh, assuming that uh, flows on the labor market are uh, balanced at all times, um, then uh, workers they are going to expect uh, they are going to expect an employment level uh, for a given tightness that's uh, given by the labor supply ls of theta All right, and I have said them about this. Um, so workers expect an employment level given theta, which is given by the labor supply LS of theta. And um, what's the expression for LS of theta? Just so that we uh, remember, LS of theta we said was F of theta divided by S plus F of theta times H, where H was um, the size of the labor force. 